drug issues totally out of the game for three years, but this spring he's tearing it up with the Reds. Is he going to stick? I think he will. I would not be surprised at all if, if Junior Griffey ended up playing right field to take pressure off his legs and Hamilton with their uh, opening day uh, center fielder. I beg anyone, just go on to ESPN.com and read Jason Stark's piece on him. It is a great piece. This is the best story of spring training, but a guy, if he can fight drug abuse and drug addiction and come back and make it in the major leagues at such a young age. I mean, it was 1999, he was drafted out of high school, number one pick in the country. He looks terrific. He looks like a young Larry Walker. His swing is great. He's a very good outfielder. And, you know, he stands, he just tells everybody, you know what, you know what, I'm going to try to be the model. You see, you can overcome drug problems and come back. And I think he can be a great model for a lot of kids in this country because I think we all know in, in every sport mm -hmm. and every line of society, there are kids that, that have addiction problems that are very difficult to overcome. So this is, you know, probably is my favorite story of the spring. And I, I, I think we all wish him the best of luck because he's never once blamed anyone else for his own problems. He's always been totally accountable. And I think that's probably the first step coming back. All right, speaking of comebacks, Peter Gavin, it's great to see you. We see you in Florida on a Sunday with the sun out. In springtime, it means the world will soon be all right. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot, Bob. All right, Bob, uh, Michelle Bonner, good enough to join us this morning with all the conference tournament action you could possibly.